Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to find a z-score given an area um, using the TI-84. So, uh, for example, here I have a standard normal curve and it has an cumulative area of 0.9176, so I want to find the z-score that corresponds to that. So what I'm looking for is the value right here. What is this value right here? Well, this is actually not too difficult um, with the TI-84. What we're looking for is z. Okay. And the way we find this is using the inverse normal function. So if you do um, second bars, and there's number three is inv norm. Okay. And then all you have to do is put um, the area, the cumulative area that represents this. So this area is 0.9176. So we just do inv norm of 0.9176. One seven six, and that's going to tell me the value here, the z value. That's going to give me um, an area of point nine one seven six. So it's just one point three eight nine. Okay. So here we have the same kind of deal. We want to know this, um, the z score that's going to be of an area of point zero five four. So that's supposed to be a four. So we're looking for this z value right here. And all we have to do is do the inverse normal. So inverse normal of 0 0.054 and it's going to be negative 1.607. So that means this number right here is negative 1.607. Okay. So the ones that are a little more difficult are when we want to know, um, when we only know the area to the right, okay, and it's really not significantly more difficult. So this one is saying that 5% of the distribution's area is to the right, so that means that this area right here is 0 0.05. Well, the way the INV norm function works is you have to tell it the area to the left, so all we need to do is just do 1 minus 0 0.05, so this is 0.95. Okay, so when we do um, this in our calculator to find this z, we have to put the 0.95. Okay, you can also, if you're feeling a little lazy, just do 1 minus 0 0.05 in there, and it'll do the same thing. Okay, so this z value is 1.645. Now, one way to make sure that you are correctly, um, you're getting the correct answer is anything uh, below 50% should be a negative number and anything above 50% should be a positive number. So that's one um, way to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Okay, so this one says 43.56% is here. So this area is just 100% minus Four three point five six. Now, make sure you convert these to decimals first. Okay, so and we could just do this in the calculator as well if you don't feel like finding what that actually is. This z will be. We'll just do inv norm of one minus point four three five six. So it's point. One six two. Okay, so you know definitely don't put in forty three point five six. Make sure you put point four three five six because it does need to be represented as a decimal. And that's it.